today's star of the show is going to be this beautiful moon dust palette and this moon dust liquid color. I'm going to start priming my face with some Coverfix primer. Then I'll use the erased paste from Benefit to cover any dark spots or uneven areas on my face. And I'll focus more on the shaded areas. I use my Sephora's Multitasker brush to kind of apply that erased paste all over my face. With whatever is left on the brush, I'll kind of just go all over my face. For my foundation today, I'm using Bobbi Brown Stick Foundation in the shade 4.5 Warm Natural. I'm just kind of apply one thin layer because the erase space covered a lot of the areas. I don't need much cover up with the stick. It's a beautiful, beautiful foundation. For my concealer, I'm using Nars's Macadamia Concealer Stick and this is an amazing, amazing concealer. I love this concealer. And just kind of apply it in a triangle um, shape just around your under eyes and um, your nose area. Then I'm just going to um, spread it out with my fingers. I'm gonna start my eyes with this MAC um, Base Eyeshadow in Soft Ochre and I love this paint pot. It's a great base for any eyeshades you want to apply. So just kind of cover your eyelids with this uh, concealer brush. Now I'm going to start transitioning the colors, um, starting by Makeup Geek's tan lines and placing the eyeshadow in my crease area. And then I'm going to take Cocoa Bear by say Makeup Geek and I'm going to use my pencil brush this time to draw a more defined line on my crease so I'm kind of carving my crease out at this moment. Then I'm gonna switch back to my fluffy brush and kind of blend everything out. And now the fun part. I'm gonna start with this Moon Dust Liquid um, eyeshadow in uh, Vega, and I'm gonna start carving out my eyes, um, more my crease. I have hooded eyes. Um, not as hooded, but I kind of need to carve out my eyes so it's easier to shape them and uh, define them. I'm just kind of fill them in now. 
by the way guys I just got my eyebrows threaded this weekend so I really ne don't need to shape them out as my favorite stylist and good friend from eyebrow threading Sapna got them perfect for me I'll list down her contact below she's super awesome and so is her staff so be sure to check out her salon if you're in the Dallas area and if not then you really need to fly out here guys Now I'm gonna take this green eye shade light by the ear from the moon dust palette and I'm gonna pick it up with my fingers and place it um, on the eye shade we just applied so this enhances more of a mermaid look um, and it's really really beautiful I love I love the foiled look of it that it's gonna give in the end so just watch it guys it's gonna be beautiful And for the ends, I'm gonna switch to a small brush and pick up the same color and apply it in the ends. And then I'm gonna take um, next eyeliner in a matte color, matte black, and kind of shape it the way my eyeshade is going and do a wing. And for my mascara, as always, Hypnos Drama from Lancome. I love that mascara. And then for my lower lash line, same thing. Um, the tan lines by Makeup Geek, followed by the Cocoa Bear eyeshadow. So just kind of do um, as if you're doing an eyeliner with a pencil brush. And it will shape out really, really beautiful. For my waterline, I'm using Marc Jacobs Ultra Skinny Code Blue Eyeliner and I'm gonna place it on my waterline. And then don't forget to mascara your lower lashes as well. What do you think? Highlight on my brow bone. Um, from the Anastasia palette and the shade Glow Getter. I always use that as my highlighter. I love it. For contouring my face, I'm gonna use LA Girls um, concealer in the shade Toffee. And I'm gonna apply it in my cheekbones and my jawline just to kind of define it. And then some on my nose as well. You need a very thin brush for this since you want to carve out your nose. <laughs> and then I'm gonna use my all-time favorite beauty blender to kind of blend out everything. This get rid of any harsh lines. And for my blush, I'm using Morphe's uh, palette in that shade more kind of shade there with my Eco Tools um, brush, blush, blush brush. And then I'm using the highlighter from Nicole Guerrero's Anastasia's palette, and I'm loving this um, silverish kind of shade. I never, I've never used this before, so this is my first time using it. And then I'm using Anastasia's lip palette today and mixing those two colors, the purple and the pink. And I'm using the No Bleed lip liner. This is an amazing lip liner. I know, it doesn't show anything here, but 
when you apply any liquid lipsticks or you know kind of picks up the color of your lipstick and becomes that colored liner so you don't have to like worry about picking each different shade for each different lipstick it's like perfect it creates that kind of line so I love this you guys have to try it out and then I'm gonna go and fix any unevenness uh, with some foundation on a very thin Morphe pencil brush and kind of just clean everything up And voila guys this is done so if you like my video make sure to subscribe like and comment below on what you'd like to watch next and I'll see you next time bye